first time on Game Grumps. I guess you're right. I didn't really understand it myself when I was drawing it. I have a feeling that it's either a potential clue or just a waste of labor. I'm betting on the second. <laughs> no, it wasn't a waste at all. Huh? It's not a waste of labor. We have a child now. <laughs> <laughs> what, should we, what the heck should we name it? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's so dumb. This floor smells terrible. <laughs> Just been trying to suck up all this jam. <laughs> <laughs> he like slits his head and he's like, where'd everyone go? <laughs> yeah, I was spreading it with this knife on the toast. <laughs> <laughs> I took the, 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 the night vision goggles off because I couldn't reach the ground with them sticking out of my head like this. <laughs> He was overly critical, arrogant, and condescending, but God, I loved him. But he also had a strong sense of responsibility. And a butt that just wouldn't quit. <laughs> it's very strange to find a body underneath the table. It's very strange to find a body anywhere. Yeah, yeah. Except in a grave. That uh, makes sense. Yeah, that's true. Hey, I'm Grump, I'm not so Grump, and we're the Game Grumps! Hi, hi, hi. Okay, oh, oh, all right, we're back. Um, so, uh, it's been, we're One still in the- since you looked at me. Yeah, we're, we're still in the class trial, but it has actually been about a month since Aaron and I have been able to record episodes of this due to various, various things, oh, um, yeah. in our lives. What? Yeah, just- Lives? Yeah. <laughs> Yuck. <laughs> Ew. Whoa. Um, so yeah, we're, we just had to do a refresher course on who voices who and what voices they have. Um, if we're slightly off, we apologize, but um, we're having uh, Awesome Alley put together uh, a little cheat sheet for us. Awesome so Alley. we'll be able to check. Um, and Amazing sure Alley! Yeah. I, I mean, eventually things will take care of themselves as characters drop dead and we have to voice less people. Then right. That's, it gets easier. But uh, for now, let's uh do it. Okay. Biak is dead. Let's find out who killed him. Um, so yeah, the night vision goggles were there, and Biak, everyone's saying, what, determining whether or not Biakia brought them in with himself. Himself. If he brought them, or someone else brought them. Which means we can assume that the night vision goggles were kept inside the tour room in case as well. Woohoo! I said- Woohoo! I said it's doomed! Kabuki never uses such, such clever- Oh, she says Yeah, she words. said it. Byakuya was the only one who could have taken the night vision goggles out of the case. Yeah, I'm sorry, can someone stop playing that so loud? Oh, we It's like a Crystal <laughs> Method concert in here. You know what's cool now is we have, um... We, ha we have a script that we're running now for the audio, so that when the characters talk, it, like, brings up the audio level. Really? Yeah, but only if we're not talking. So oh. if we just don't talk while they're talking, then it'll come up to like our level. That's great. Isn't that wild? I love it. Yeah. Fucking technology. I know. Since he was carrying it around before the blackout in the first place. <gasps> I'm gonna upload my brain to the iCloud. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> it burns so much more than I thought. <laughs> If there were night oh, vision goggles uh, uh, inside, it wouldn't be weird for a knife to be in there, too. Ooh. I am what weird. Oh, oh, I'm hitting, like, the fast-forward button. Times like this, I'd rather be fantasizing about tonight's main dish. He sounds like a horny Nathan Lane. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm gonna be thinking about tonight's main dish. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you totally mean that in a perverted way. Sure. Talking about food. <laughs> The knife was brought in the Duralumin case along with the night vision goggles, too. No, that's impossible! How does my cowlick defy gravity?! <laughs> like a bird flies by and gets impaled. <laughs> <laughs> Not again! The last California condor! <laughs> <laughs> Why?! <laughs> The knife was hidden in the dining hall before the party even started. I should be able to prove it. Um... Uh... Oh, it's been a month. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Oh, the, the, the duct tape. Because it was probably duct tape to the bottom of the table. Uh! There was duct tape left under the table where the body was found. So? Duct tape. They probably hit the knife by duct taping it to the underside of the table. Oh! So that's why we found duct tape there. Cause someone taped it there. What the fuck? Oh, she's <laughs> hanging behind her. Yeah, yeah. I was like, is somebody like doing a dance? 
No, that's sweet rabbit lady getting m messed with by Monokuma. Oh, no. I feel bad for her, but also she might be a murderer. I, yeah, unclear. Though Byakuyo was thorough, even he couldn't have noticed a weapon taped to the underside of the table. I'm here too. <laughs> topic. But why was Byakuya acting so paranoid? I don't know, probably because there's a stabbing killer about. <laughs> yeah. Why was he acting so paranoid? It's like he was trying- he was getting murdered or something. It, weird that the ultimate swordsman or whatever she is didn't foresee that people would be troubled by a bladed weapon. Not only did he bring a self-defense kit, but he had night vision goggles inside the case too. Okay, so? That's peko, peko, yeah. He went above and beyond being a little cautious. Now that you mention it, that applies to the dangerous items he confiscated as well. What? I, just for, I was just reminded of her existence. Yeah. Just immediately <laughs> thinking, What the heck is going on? It's one thing to be a little cautious, but performing a body check is a bit much. Someone pussed in, like, You're the person who stole my picnic table cover and made a tie out of it. <laughs> what I'll the see heck are you accusing me of? I'll see the hell, Kazuo Kazumi. He probably knew someone was planning to commit a murder. But who? Perhaps he was the murderer. Murder? Could it be? Was he also in possession of the all-seeing eye? I love Gundam so much. He's the best. Right, Hajime? Uh, what do you? Uh, <laughs> that's a lot of pressure. Do you think if Gundam dies, that his little hamsters will be dead around him? I don't want that to be true. Wait, what am I looking for? Oh, oh display problem. Yakuya probably knew there was a possibility that a murder would occur. Um, because of the, oh god. Gosh, <laughs> shit. Uh, uh. The case Byakuya had with him. That's uh, a lot of security equipment. Perhaps the Duralumen case? Inside and a hard. Yeah. <laughs> Man. The bloodstained tablecloth? No, that was from the murdering. Gas stoves, electricity, the food, the fire door. Yeah, nothing... We, we can't pick anything that happened after the murder as something that would have tipped Byakuya off. Yeah. To his own murder. Oh, a threatening letter that was in Byakuya's room. Well, that'll do it. That'll... yeah. <laughs> wow. I'll turn this one in. I can prove it with this! I can prove it! He got a letter saying he was gonna be murdered! <laughs> can you please do you like it when my Kellogg twitchles? <laughs> Found another condor. <laughs> Be careful. The first kill will happen tonight. Someone will definitely kill someone. I promise. Hey, the hell is this? Hajime and I found this in Byakuya's cottage. Why didn't you say so in the first place? Yeah, this could have been brought up a long time ago. It looks like a threatening letter someone sent for him. Yeah, no shit. So, who's the someone? Boy, that's a wild face to be making for such a calm statement. <laughs> so who's the someone? <laughs> Monokuma would write such a dumb, threatening letter like that. Wasn't me! <laughs> Shut up! This kills her. Are you sure? <laughs> the only lies I tell are friendly lies! Ah. Yeah, you're cool. Friendly lies. Those are still lies! Does it How'd your hands get free? It doesn't Yaku make a Yaku bit of difference, guys. Because of this threatening letter? He probably decided to throw a party because of the letter. Is there like a... hold on. I want to see if there's a way to like, turn down the music. Ever so slightly. Because the voices are getting so drowned out by it. Yes. <laughs> System audio. <laughs> <laughs> like, um, guys, we go. please. BGM volume. Okay, there we go. Voice volume all the way up. Outstanding. Marvelous. What do you mean? By gathering everyone in one place, we try to create a situation where everyone could keep tabs on each other. <laughs> what? But he ended up getting tabbed. <laughs> <laughs> he was the one who had the tab. He was the tabbing victim. <laughs> we tried to put the writer of the letter in a situation where they couldn't act. They could only read off the script. Hmm. It was a good plan. Might have been just a little prank. Just a little prank. As long yeah. as he was determined not to let any of us die, 
He couldn't take that risk. Yeah, on the death island, somebody writing a letter that said, I'm going to kill you. Yeah. It's just a little prank. Yeah. Just a prank, bro. <laughs> Hilarious. sense of responsibility made him believe the letter was legitimate. Oh, but it wasn't. You should have told us he received a threatening letter. Ugh. Are you crying? No! <laughs> Shut up! Huh? I need to go to the bathroom. Do something to say, Sonya? She's like, oh. Yakuya <laughs> probably knew that too. So, he tried to do something about it without telling anyone? <gasps> I see. Strong sense of responsibility as our leader was his She enemy. forgot there was a line after that. Yeah. I see. Uh, 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 strong uh, sense uh, of yeah. responsibility. <laughs> Screw that noise! Who the hell wrote that letter? Well, obviously, the killer. Durr. I don't know if that's obvious. Yeah. The killer! Yeah, let's figure out who that is, please. I gotta da, know. Dot dot dot. Is it really one of us? Who is it? Uh, Among Us! Who's the one who played Byakuya? Seems kinda sus. Who killed Byakuya? Enough already! Show yourself, you coward! <laughs> it was hamster number three! It comes out of his jacket like... <laughs> I did it! If they were willing to come forward, they never would have committed a murder in the first place! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but I still can't believe it. Did I kill that condor? <laughs> Someone in this room killed Byakuya. There's no way I could believe that yet. Um, pardon me. Can I say something, please? The fuck was that? Yeah, I don't know. I thought my cat was meowing at me and then I realized we were at the office. Was that, that wasn't in the game, was it? No. Oh, okay. What is it, Miss Sonia? I regret that I must return to this topic, but I just realized something concerning the night vision goggles. They let you see at night. <laughs> Objection! <laughs> Phoenix right comes in. How did manage to navigate in the dark? You're right. They wouldn't have been able to see anything without the night vision goggles. Um. Uh. Somebody who has night vision, of course. But if the murderer had the goggles when they took the knife, then how did Byakuya see them? Because he's. Epic! Even if the knife bore some sort of mark, it would have been difficult to see it in that darkness. Uh, I was glowing though, right? Yeah, I thought so. No, the killer definitely used the mark. And because of this mark, the killer was able to get the knife from under Going the paint. table into his hands. Glowing paint, dog. Glowing paint! My finger! This trial is for babies. What's the mark? <laughs> With that, you'd be able to What the if the glowing the paint was the mark? <laughs> How could he have known? <laughs> oh, the letter that was left in his house. How, what, what glow in the dark? Oh, the glowing paint. <laughs> With that, you'd be able to get the knife even in the dark. In actuality, oh, the knife it. we found under the table and the duct tape stuck to the underside of the table were both marked with glowing paint, right? You all knew that. So why were you asking these dumb questions? Does yeah. that mean the killer painted them in advance? Um, sure. Listen, I need you to get your head in the game. Like, <laughs> you, it, this is way too early to go to pieces. But painting them with glowing paint? It's as if they knew the blackout was going to happen. <laughs> Try Wendy's new fresh, always fresh, never frozen chicken nuggets. <laughs> Facey nugs are back. <laughs> <laughs> That's why they use the glowing paint as a mark. <laughs> <laughs> you asked for it, and by God, we gave it to you. <laughs> and it's God is my witness. <laughs> Which means whoever set up the blackout is the killer. That seals it. The killer is whoever was and in the office. They're so quick to fucking. Fucking. I know. Then it's decided the killer was you for whatever reason. <laughs> it's just like Biaku. Oh no, Pyaki is dead! We found night vision goggles. That settles it! The <laughs> night vision goggles are the murder weapon! <laughs> Which means it was you, Peko Pekoyama! Damn, dude, chill out. <laughs> was this island not big enough for two glasses wearers? <laughs> That's some good improv, Ibuki. Yeah. I'm not the killer. Oh, I guess she's not. <laughs> Uh, How could you wink wink her so easily? Well, she was winking, so you know she wasn't being totally truthful. But with Echo's height, 
I don't think she'd be able to reach the circuit breaker in the office. <gasps> so that means I have to be the big guy! <laughs> Case closed. <laughs> Her voice is kind of driving me insane. <laughs> This is a trial yeah. for murder. Please say it. Please say the words. <laughs> Loud and proud, please. I don't care about a technicality like that. Pecco's the one who tripped the breaker and caused the blackout. I only tripped the lights fantastic. <laughs> By tripping the breaker directly from the office, Pecco was the one who caused the blackout. Is that really what happened? After this debate, blue-colored weak spots will start appearing. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> like, does it- am, am I dying? If we call the weak spots you've seen up until now argue spots, then they'd be called argue spots. Agree spot. okay. Oh, I see. Alright. When shooting agree spots with truth bullets, you need to flip your way of thinking. This is the most non-American... <laughs> Game explanation for anything I've ever seen. I've often thought that myself. <sighs> Our relationship was going well until she started shooting my agree spots with truth bullets. <laughs> Instead of arguing that the other person's testimony contains lies or mistakes, try reframing it as a positive. <laughs> Please fire the truth bullets to prove the other person's testimony is correct. Do you get that? It's all flip floppy and double negative y. When your truth bullets merge with their weakness, it will become a logically sound agreement. Did any of that make sense? <laughs> and probably when we start playing, it'll, okay. it'll get cleared up. Isn't it a little hot in here? From now on, you must infer whether it's best to argue or agree based on what's being debated. Oh shit. If you press the start button during these arguments, you can review the controls. You'll have to. <laughs> well then, good luck and have fun. Thanks. This is a murder trial. Whoa, Biak is dead?! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Teru Teru, I don't remember what any of their accounts are! Fuck! It's fine. Since Pekko was in the office... She could have caused the blackout at any time! No, she couldn't have, That's because impossible. of... That's impossible. Nekomaru. Huh? Why is it impossible? Because, because of... I was not in the office. Oh, shit! <laughs> Damn! <laughs> before the blackout. Oh, okay. okay. guard duty? Sorry. <laughs> My bad. Oh, you weren't in the office? <laughs> what a conversation. <laughs> That's clearly a desperate excuse. Oh, my bad. You were in the office because I think you were in the office. No, I wasn't. You weren't? Yes, you were. I wasn't. Well, that's a convenient excuse. <laughs> All right, who's lying? <laughs> <laughs> All right, hold on. I gotta, I gotta look up um some some stuff. Okay, quick, let's pause. You know, we're back. I just got caught up on everything. Just had to look at a dialogue tree or some shit. <laughs> and now, we're back and I'm ready to go. Alright, let's do it. Whoops! Oh. That was fast forward. <laughs> was in the office. How do I aim and fire things? She Come on, Aaron. It's like the one part of this game that's actually a game. Hold on. Well, yeah, I mean, I guess I have to- hold on, hold on, hold on. Alright, move, aim, move reticle, silencer. Fire truth bullet. Select truth bullet. It's Y. Okay. okay. Uh, that's why I have to shoot anyway. Oh, okay. No, I uh, hey, Why? Uh, no! Uh, Crap! You uh, Looks like I made a mistake. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was Nekomaru's account. Okay. Yeah! Wait, what the- Nope. Oh, no, it's for before the blackout. Crap! Crap. Since Pekko was in the office... Hey, hey, hey! ...she caused the blackout at any time! Maybe <laughs> doing possible. Huh? Why is like my possible? whopper. Because I was not in the office. Because it's beyond meat. The it's impossible. <laughs> I agree with that. I agree with that. That's a good thing to say. <laughs> That's something a not murderer would say. Pekka was telling the truth. Mm hmm. Don't tell me you're crushing on Pekko. Crushing on Pekko. <laughs> Crashing on Pecco, she. Oh, never mind. It's it's, like it it, it kind of fit with the Pecco Spatula City song. Actually, Pecco's out. Hell is what? Never mind. <laughs> I have been trying to use it many times, but the door just won't open at all. 
Oh, that's right. That was when he couldn't drop the hellacious deuce he was desperately trying to do. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Doesn't make a bit of difference, guys. It's true. Someone was occupying the bathroom for a long time shortly after the party started. <laughs> it was Peko! Yeah. Dropping mad rabbit deuces! <laughs> she was occupying Wall Street and then the bathroom! <laughs> <laughs> She's a one percenter. After Byakuya's body was discovered, then the person who was in the bathroom that whole time was actually. Yes, I was shitting. Okay. Yeah, jeez. Everyone else besides Pekka was in the dining hall after the party started, right? I see. So there's no way anybody else could have locked themselves in the bathroom except Pekka. I didn't lock, guys. Yeah. I guess that would be true. Is she sweating? Yeah, uh, she's got a little sweat. Because everyone's Why talking about deuces. Mode? You should have said so earlier. Well, I was shitting. There's no way she'd actually say that. Gosh, There's no so way. What the heck you could talk about? You are so insensitive to people who fard <laughs> <laughs> and also shit. A girl has the right to shit in private. <laughs> what the heck is going on around right here? There's no doubt. It's shit. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, there's no way she'd admit it. There's no way she'd admit she was taking a shit. Do you think wow. when this guy d auditioned for this role, it and then he was in the booth, and then they were like, this is the next line, he was like... D yeah, yeah. I don't know if I want this job anymore. Yeah, they're like, remember, <laughs> say it like you're the ultimate team leader. <laughs> you got it. <sighs> hey. Were you guys taught any basic manners, or were you raised in a locker room? Where the heck were you guys raised anyway? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's fine. How about we stop talking about this and move on to something else? You got it, Peko Pecky. I'm the ultimate <laughs> pooper. <laughs> Take the ultimate dump. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> What's the ultimate toilet paper configuration? Look do you at, roll it up or do you fold it over? Look at Soda's face. He's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> A dump! Don't uh. worry. The smell wasn't that strong. I used the bathroom right after you, so you can trust me. I said it's fine. Can I just confess to the murder? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'd rather be killed by Monokuma than endure another minute of this. Still, you were in the bathroom for a really long time. Fucking <laughs> 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 like disgusting. As soon as I stepped into the office, I felt this sudden rush of pain in my stomach. Now this is the kind of dialogue I can get behind. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Because of that, I was unable to leave the bathroom, including when the blackout occurred. <laughs> There's like a flashback scene. It's like, <laughs> yeah! The toilet wouldn't flush, so I had to use my ultimate sword skills to cut the shit in half. Ultimate shit. <laughs> How did it feel to? Do your business in the dark. Oh my god. Come on. Jesus dude, Christ. Like, seriously. I was gonna make a joke about how somebody's probably into this, and I was like, nah, but yeah. fucking Teru Teru. If this guy dies soon, the the morning period will be pretty short. <laughs> but still, your stomach pain. Was that really just a coincidence? Or did you eat something that made your stomach hurt? Yeah. <laughs> Tell us that you ate something that hurt your stomach! Don't butt into other people's business, especially if you didn't do any investigating. What in the absolute world is going on around here? <laughs> <laughs> Everybody wait just a fucking minute! Slow down! You think I could get a frosty with this? Wait just a heckin' minute! Are you telling me Byakuya was murdered? <laughs> Stop awesome. this childish nonsense. Just what do you mean by coincidence? Stop this childish nonsense and talk to the adults who talk to hamsters. <laughs> do you think my head looks like a Dairy Queen ice cream cone? <laughs> what I mean is, is it possible someone slipped her some laxatives? What? What the fuck are you talking about? 
What? And of course, he's probably right. Yeah, well, to get her out of the picture, because her sword skills might be considered, like, dangerous. Oh, and also because she's on guard. Oh. Laxatives? What the fuck is a laxative? If so, a laxative is what you take when you can't shit. Girl at the office, don't you think? <laughs> well done, Aaron. You, you cracked yourself up with that? <laughs> Factual it's, statement. It's just like the idea of this. Just, it goes into that like wordy Don Gon Ronpo like over explaining oh, this. <laughs> yeah. Laxative? Yes. A laxative is used when somebody can't move their bowels. Yeah. It's especially helpful for people with stricturing in their intestines. <laughs> You're like, why is this part of the game? <laughs> I've taken laxatives once in my life. <laughs> okay, can we Hi. please move on? <laughs> I see. That might have happened. Oh, sure. The question is whether Pecco's stomach ache was a coincidence, or if someone intentionally caused it. Can't you- can't you say that about anything in life? Yeah. Uh, I- I tripped on this. It could have been intentional. Please stop doing that over there. Was that accidental or intentional when she did that? <laughs> we'll never know. Depending on the answer, the outcome of this trial could change drastically. Ah! Oh, oh, okay, so... I'm making my argument over whether or not she was given a laxative? God, this is tougher than the last game, I feel. Okay. Did you eat anything weird? No. I don't remember eating anything weird. Now that you mention it... You brought food to the office, right? What? Did Just you? a little bit from the dining hall. Was that her there that said that? There might some laxatives in it, don't you think? No! <laughs> no! <laughs> no! <laughs> no! It's impossible that laxatives were slipped into the food in the dining hall. And how the fuck are you so sure about that, Einstein? The only one who ate that food. Akane ate some of it too. Oh, that's right. She ate a lot of it. If Akane was going after it. it. Yeah, I fucking shit like a sailor after that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, but you guys didn't hear about that. I feel totally fine. After that huge shit I took. <laughs> For eight hours. Dishes are innocent. Don't go making weird accusations. Can we please stop talking about me shitting now? Yuhiko should apologize, not you. He's the one who made the laxative accusation. Laxative accusation is one of the dumbest phrases I've ever <laughs> seen in my life. What it's like a it sounds like a band that Vernon would like. <laughs> I Whoa, can... easy, dude. Take it easy. <laughs> My God. Jesus, bickering. I killed him. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> Let's just dismiss Pecco's stomachache as a coincidence and go back to discussing the blackout. Yeah, yeah. We already know that, you trashy skank. Jesus oh my Christ. God. <laughs> trashy skank? Yeah, you heard me. Anyway. <laughs> as long as the murder- I guess we're just gonna gloss yeah, yeah, over that. Yeah. As long as the murder happened during the blackout, then the blackout itself isn't what's actually important. Okay. What? <laughs> so we need to make it clear how that blackout occurred. It occurred by- it, it has a murder trigger. Yeah. When someone's murdered, it goes out. Oh, Jesus, there's I, so I know, much it's shit. so much stuff. Who tripped the breaker, and how did they do it? If you can't answer that, I'm gonna bop you on the head. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> there is something very uniquely Dan Ganranpa in, in, you know, about these games. I'm gonna, with the power supply and I'm gonna kick you in the groin and bop you in the head! <laughs> I'll take your Microsoft Dinosaur Shit. CD! Cut you up! Fuck. By the way, I'm not a trashy skank! <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Punctuate that shit. Yeah. By the way, just see if we can do this! Let's the fast forward. If you can't answer that, did they throw us? Maybe they used a remote? They probably messed with Turn the- It, it does not remote. have to be the breaker. Uh... They may have tampered with the power or maybe they caused a power surge? Oh! I agree with that! Yes! <laughs> Good job, Wendy! <laughs> Just as Mahiru said, the blackout was caused by a power surge. Of course, that's- By a power skank! I mean surge, sorry. 
because too many people are using too many irons. <laughs> but who? <laughs> Which is why Let's spend 30 minutes talking about it. Range to cause the blackout. When you found the Pekka, were you playing Pokemon Go while you were shitting? <laughs> <laughs> no, but I was playing before when I was farting. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> and using an iron, three irons. In fact, what? <laughs> Go. So by leaving those irons on in the storage room, they deliberately caused a power surge. It's a long way to go. Seems that's how the killer caused the blackout. <laughs> Some guy sneaking around is just like. I just can't, I don't- I don't know. The, the power went out and I killed him. The end. So the killer is the person who has the most freshly pressed shirt! <laughs> I'm the trashy skank! <laughs> Hold what the fuck second. is happening? Let me speak too. You're allowed right, to. Nobody team leader, take it you. easy. You say the irons in the storage room were used to trigger the blackout? That's inexcusable! But why? Why? Hey. why exactly? <laughs> we have to help the environment! <laughs> Stop using fossil fuels as our main power source! <laughs> what the fuck is this? Oh, I, swords. It's a rebuttal showdown. Okay. If the irons in the storage room caused the blackout, then for oh the my god. turn the irons on. You're saying they went all the way to the storage, and that means everyone who is the <laughs> Yeah, I see. Okay, no, I made it. Because people were in the dining hall. Doesn't mean they're not a suspect. Okay. Yeah. The people in the dining hall work if the irons then the killer had to go uh -oh, to the danger. room before that and turn on the iron. Now do you intend to take back what you said? I don't know what I'm doing. It's true the irons responsible for the blackout. But this shouldn't be the only reason. The hall, if the irons cause the blackout. Allow me to cut through those words. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> irons are just one reason the blackout occurred. They weren't the trigger. The direct trigger was when the air conditioners in the dining hall and office clicked on. Oh. The air conditioners! <laughs> I want that to be my text sound. <laughs> Just him screaming air conditioners. Yeah, this should be my phone background. And I, and I, like, with the pulsing, like, profile picture. Just <laughs> the timers for both air conditioners were set to 11.30 p.m. Which is odd them. because that's what a clock would do. <laughs> I see. When the timers activated the air conditioners, the breaker was tripped and caused a blackout. I see. I understand. Indubitably. So I did do it. Okay. <laughs> Does anyone have some herbal tea? This voice is killing me. <laughs> They probably checked the old building's energy usage in advance, and used the irons to nearly max. Oh it out. my God! Spit it out, dude! I feel like I'm taking Valium listening to you. <laughs> Once they set the air conditioners' timers. They just had to wait until they started up on their own. So once they set the air conditioner's <laughs> timer, like I f I'm fucking older. <laughs> Every time he finishes a sentence, like appreciably older. <laughs> I'm fucking older. <laughs> Even if Pekka was in the office, it still would have been possible to cause a blackout, indubitably. Don't steal my words. Miss Sonia, not you too. Man, this dialogue is top notch. Yeah, I love it. Regarding the energy usage, they probably- Wow, you're really fucking tall. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Jesus, do you think maybe you could put your arm down? <laughs> the stench is wafting directly into my nostrils. <laughs> Dun, dun, dun. <gasps> is she right? Such a hateful bear. You just you hate to see it. <laughs> a Damn. Thousand, you say? If I died that many times, I might really stay dead. You know? <laughs> bear lips to God's ears, Monokuma. <laughs> um, it's next time on Game Grow. I guess so. I. Uh, okay, let's do it. Have a wonderful Eve. Okay. Goodbye, all. God willing, we'll conclude this trial in the next episode. Mm, probably the next four. Oh. Yeah!